Um, in Smith's books, particularly early on in her book, she looks at the, uh, the different kinds of colonizations. And specifically what she's looking at is the colonization of the researcher on ind indigenous communities. And by that, she talks about some of the methodologies and practices that are used that come from Western or European enlightenment and how that's impacted the ongoing, ongoing research and also the impact on indigenous communities. And as an indigenous researcher, she sort of has a double, a double tier that she has to work at. One, understanding these Western theories and approaches to research, but then secondly for herself as an indigenous researcher, wanting to get at that core story and identity of the, of the indigenous communities that she's, she knows and understands. Um, the second thing that she gets into more in chapters four and five is understanding the impact of colonization on, on communities. Um, and she goes into some detail of talking about what the, the, she uses the term problemization of indigenous communities, which means sort of after decades and sometimes centuries of colonizing policies, colonizing impact on these communities, all of a sudden now they're looked at as problems and researchers look narrowly at the communities themselves as the problems as opposed to looking at the broader implications of decades and centuries of um, colonization. And then the second thing I appreciate about her work is her linking the colonizations of indigenous communities to sort of what has occurred in communities that are marginalized within, within the Western context. And I think narrowly within the US culture of African American communities and how they're problem, problemized as well and sort of not under, but not appreciating the historical significance of what those communities have had to go through.